the amount of misinformation and diet culture doubled up together has really done a lot of harm to women, especially. So I didn't grow up seeing any women in my family um, practicing self-care. That was for selfish women. That's what I understood. That's how I grew up, that women take care of everybody. You don't, if you have time to take care of yourself, tisk tisk. You could have, you could have done more for someone else in your family. Not dissing it, not judging it. I'm telling you how I grew up. And so, right? Just, and, but I've always loved to run. I've always loved to be active, but because I, was very athletic. Um, some boys didn't like that and they let me know it. And being trained to be liked was more important than me excelling in a lot of different areas in my life. So now I'm just catching up and it's not too late. So all movement is good movement. It really bugs the fuck out of me when somebody's like, why would you waste time on the elliptical? Why would you do this? Why? You know what? If somebody is out there moving, whether it be at a gym or outside or, or training in their house, I don't care what it is. All movement is good for you. You want to, you definitely want to practice safety. You want to pay attention to what's happening. Like it should be an everyday occurrence to get 30 minutes in. And I know how hard that is when you're working, taking care of your family. It, you know, it's rough out there. It is rough. But I have to thank my guide, Miss Zena, for teaching me where I was um, wasting some time and some energy. So it is such a beautiful process to learn how to self-care in the physical world as well as the mental and emotional, right? Because you need all three parts. As a woman, we need all three parts and it's figuring out, right? We're going to science the fucking shit out of this and figure it out. And a lot of times women have a hard time understanding where they're wasting their time and their energy. And so we all need a guide, and all guides are different. Some, I, I used to have guides that were just like, you know, don't be weak and you go as hard as you can and you work out six days a week. And, you know, that's really hard on a working woman, a, a single, okay? And you add in all these other elements. And this is what Zena does. She, 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 she figures out what you're eating, what your home life's like, what kind of time do you have? And I mean, she basically just about almost does, I mean, the simplest of terms that we can all understand. And that's what I needed is someone who was going to take the time to understand me and make the pieces fit. So that's where I'm at. So my training has been about, um, uh, how much space I want to take up as well as build muscle as a 54 year old woman. So she, you know, I got to say that this is what I want. And she said, let me know what time you have available. Let me know. Um, you know, she, we, we, there was a lot of conversation and she listened and I have food issues and people issues, trust issues, trust issues with food and people because of diet culture. And she, and don't think there wasn't times where I was like, I don't understand how she's going to get me to where I need to be when I only have four days, four mornings where I can go and, and you know, and, and, and work out for as long as I need to. And did I have to get up earlier? Yeah. Did I have to change some things around in my food? Yeah. Did I eat burgers? Yeah. Chocolate? Yeah. Ice cream? Yeah. I had two Thanksgivings. I had one on Thursday and one on Friday, and I still lost weight. She is one of the most phenomenal teachers I have ever had in my life. Temple Zena at Temple Zena. 
Check it, check it out, her website. I mean, just look at it. You just look at it. And I know the first is around the corner. The first is coming. And diet culture teaches you to wait. Her program is when you're ready, she's ready. It's called Evergreen, her Evergreen program. And she's got different levels on there. I mean, you pick and choose what you want. And I have learned more in 12 weeks than I have in decades of diet culture. Decades. She changed my life. There's very few people I can say that about. So am I going to push her content? Hell yeah, I am. And we're going to be talking about this um, every Sunday starting in January. Because like I said, diet culture owes me a life. So I'm excited for the new year and to share and talk more about a woman's well-being. And thank you so much for this. It took me a long time to figure out the currency of my health. And I want it for all women. We are not too old and it's not too late. You choose how you want to live your life and how you want to be. But you literally have to give up your old life. You don't have to do it overnight, but start somewhere. Those baby steps, I don't recognize who I was three years ago. I'm a completely different person and I live my life my way. I decide and I'm healthier in my, my mental, emotional, and physical well-being. I'm better for it because I am not going to put limitations on myself. I was taught to limit myself and I will not. I refuse. The misinformation, the lies, diet culture, I escaped. I made it out and I'm coming back for others. Thank you. Thank you so much.